Michael needs to kick accurately. And he has. And he gets back on it. Oh, oh, it Matt Pritchard might get on the ball. He sizes it up. Oh, that was Geelong White. Wingard into the pocket. No way. Matty promised come to me halfway during the week. I think it was maybe a Thursday. Um, and just said, yeah, 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 you're going to have a crack. So I had played a few NAB Cup games and got a taste for it. Found out probably on the Monday or Tuesday, I think, uh, Dean Bailey came up and told me that I was going to be in the team for round one. There's always a few players that watch the coach at the end of training because they know that he's going up to tell players if they're playing, if they're in or they're out. So after Dennis had told me, um, Jason McCartney and Corey McKernan came straight up to me and congratulated me and said, enjoy the week and... Um, enjoy the chance to play your first game of AFL. I remember on a Thursday night I got a phone call from Neil Craig saying that I was lucky enough to get select, selected in the game and yeah, he said congratulations young fella, you, you deserve it, you've had a good pre-season and um, you'll be playing your first game against Collingwood. And I think I rang my mum first and told her that I was playing and um, I, think she's, I think she started crying on the phone. Around one of the AFL footy season everyone's there, the crowds are huge. Uh, big, everyone's got big expectations for their club and uh, to run through the North Banner and you know, do a lap of the square and a sprint to the goal square in front of the North Melbourne cheer squad was, uh, the feeling was electric. So all the senior and more experienced players sort of try to give you a little idea of you know, what to look out for but um, nothing can sort of prepare you to be walking out in front of 40 odd thousand people for the first time at the G, it's um, a sensational feeling. It was pretty daunting as soon as I got out in that field, um, just the crowd. I think obviously it was probably maybe 25 to 30,000, but it felt like it was 100,000 when you were out there. Early in the uh, first quarter where I thought I had plenty of time in the world and got the ball and sort of went to dish it off and then bang, um, sort of hit the deck and didn't really know what happened, looked up and uh, yeah, Hodgie just uh, nailed me from behind. And if you look at it on a replay, it's not that big a hit, but because it was one of my first, it felt like I was... Uh, yeah, knocked into next year and um, sort of hopped up and realised it was Hodgie, who's a player that I've always looked up to growing up, and he sort of gave me a little pat on the back and said, keep going, young fella, so <laughs> no, it's sort of something that will stick with me for a long time. Coming out after three quarter time, we kind of kicked a couple of goals. I remember standing at full forward and I think it was about 60 or 70,000 people there, and I remember just looking around the MCG and thinking, wow, this is... This is AFL footy and the other memory I have is uh, my first goal with my first kick so I remember lining up and kicking the goal and uh, going straight through the middle. I think I had one mark and one kick. Uh, we lost by 80 points at the MCG in front of about 60,000 people so it was the result didn't go our way at all but um, to experience a, a first game like that in front of a, a huge crowd um, was a big thrill.